Outriders is bad. It's really bad. It's so bad, it's indistinguishable from parody. It's a new, cover-based looter shooter. Ugh. I've only played the demo, but it's all I need to see. Upon starting the game and suffering through the first cutscene, the first thing you notice is the graphics. These cutscenes are riddled with ugly frame drops and stuttering. Characters have a poorly implemented blur effect applied to them. There's weird motion blur going on with everything. The grass looks like shit. What is this? What am I looking at? We start with your classic modern video game opening section where you're not allowed to access the full mobility of your character. Even though later you can run at a brisk pace, you must walk slow as hell to the set points of the tutorial. You gotta go up there, but don't run there, just walk. Walk slowly because you can't be trusted to do anything more than that. It's the first 10 minutes of God of War 2018 all over again. Slowly walk to the objective and activate a cutscene. We gotta talk to this guy, all these cutscenes are locked into a low frame rate even though my game is running at 120 frames. Not only is the constant frame rate change messing with my eyes, but these cutscenes are stuttering. Why is this happening? Hey, now we're finally moving at a decent speed, and we have to run to the next point. Oh, this lady is listing off numbers. 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42. The numbers from Lost, one of the greatest and most promising shows of all time that eventually spiraled out of control into absolute dog shit. You really want to throw that reference at me at the beginning of your game? Another cutscene plays. You better get used to this because it's going to happen a lot. What is going on with this guy's face? He looks like he's ready to give up. I feel you man, I'm right there with you. These dialogue options don't interest me at all, I just want to get to the gameplay. I don't want to do target practice, I already know what this game is going to be. It's going to be brain dead cover based shooting, right? I don't need to practice that. I see the option at the bottom with an X, X means exit, I'm out. So let's get moving, and wait. Why does the objective point still take me to that guy I was just talking to? I guess I'll go back there and talk to him again. I talk to him again, and no, I don't want to do the target practice. There's no way this game is going to be complicated enough to require me to do a tutorial. Exit. Talk to Jacob about field testing your weapons. No! Am I really going to have to do this shooting tutorial to move on? If it's required, don't give me the option to say no. Talk to Jacob and enter the shooting tutorial. Step 1. Take cover behind the crates. Big surprise there. The first thing you notice is that there's zero feedback to your guns. You can't even feel the tiniest bit of impact from firing at an enemy. They feel like water guns, and when you reload, your character just stares aimlessly as his body goes through the animation. It's so lifeless. Enemies are now behind cover, but are still easy to shoot. The game praises you for being a great shot, when you're literally doing the minimum required to pass. Constant dialogue telling you how badass you are. It reeks of desperation. Hold Q to switch to your pistol. Look at how he's shooting. His arms move, but his body and head don't respond at all to the firing impact. How lazy were the animators of this game? Run across the area and activate another cutscene with a girl that looks so bad it's shocking. Her hair textures are a mess. Her face phases in and out of focus. God, my character's hair looks terrible too. Talk, 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 talk. We have dialogue options, and we've already learned that we have to pick the option with the star on it, because if we don't, we'll just have to come back here and repeat everything. So, fine, option one. We move forward until we see some creatures run in front of us, and the game takes away our ability to run, forcing us to walk. I'm following the animals, but if you go the way they went, the game stops you from continuing. You gotta follow the waypoint on the map, which is the opposite direction that the animals went. Of course, don't lead the player's movement with your art and camera direction, make them go the opposite way. Run over to this point, listen to dialogue, now run all the way back. Look at this motion blur, it's so bad. I gotta talk to these guys here, so far the game has been nothing but walking or running to different areas to listen to people talk. How long has it been? My god, it's been 20 minutes. What do you know, another cutscene. Seems like the soldiers are about to be ambushed. Maybe we'll get some action now. This is a video game after all. The cutscene ends and we start holding up to run through an empty area. We hold up for like 10 seconds and then we watch another cutscene. 
An animal appears and runs at us, presenting us with instructions to dodge out of the way. Then we point and shoot at him effortlessly until he dies. I don't use the dodge mechanic at all. I just stand out in the open, firing like an idiot. I get hit, I keep shooting while standing still, the animal dies, and I'm healed back to 100%, so the game has done nothing to communicate the importance of dodging. Great job, game. More cutscenes happen. Weird energy stuff is happening in the woods, so we gotta run back to our friends. Hold up. Just hold up and run forward. There's not even the slightest possibility that you can fail this section. Hold up for like 15 seconds until the next cutscene plays. I'm seriously getting Resident Evil 3 remake flashbacks here. Oh no, the leader of the group ends up killing one of the good guys, so I guess he's the main villain of this game? Now the game starts. 30 minutes into the demo, it took half an hour to get to the first combat encounter. And look at this, I'm standing here out in the open, with three guys shooting right at me, and I'm barely taking any damage at all. I'm just gonna stand here and see how long it takes to die. Incredible. This is what we're talking about when we say that modern games treat players like babies. It took two and a half minutes for my character to die, just standing out in the open. How is the player supposed to learn about the mechanics of the game if there's absolutely no punishment for playing like an idiot? Let's just run around and blast everyone mindlessly and see if that works. Well, that was easy. Now we have a fight in front of us with a lot of opportunities for cover, and I'm willing to bet there's not even a chance of any of these guys killing me. And yeah, I'm right. I completely ignore all the cover, running out in the open like an idiot, shooting everyone, and I'm fine. There's no danger at all. Oh, and there's the main villain of the game. I shoot him, and he dies. Oh, so he's gone. So what's the conflict here now? The next cutscene is actually kind of interesting. You're suddenly woken up out of cryosleep and you have no idea what's going on. Apparently this planet has been at war for decades while you've been asleep. The lush paradise you knew in the first level is now a hellhole, and you're transported as a prisoner through tunnels filled with corpses. The frame rate and motion blur are atrocious. It makes the game look so bad. A giant firestorm washes over the area and you're impaled by a metal rod. And as you die, you're given the choice of which path you want to take as a player. Long range, mid range, or up close. Well, I'm not a sniper, and I don't like melee that much, so I'll go mid range. Pyromancer. I'm resurrected as this Pyromancer character. I don't really know how, or why, but it happened, so let's see what awaits us. We're put into the first combat zone, which I can only describe as embarrassing. Again, I'm just gonna run around like an idiot, which works, because the enemies are the biggest idiots of all. This is the problem with cover shooters. The developers don't have to pay any attention to making smart enemies. They just throw a bunch of cover in the level, and the enemies sit there waiting to be killed. Or they stand out in the open like morons. Just look at this footage and tell me if you see a single intelligent behavior for these guys. Like all cover shooters, you can run away and hide to recharge your health, but only a portion of it. If you want more health, you get it from combat, with Pyromancer healing by killing enemies who are burning. When you're engaging in combat, using your powers and shooting, you're always being healed. So you've got stupid enemies and your health constantly regenerates, ultimately creating a meaningless experience. But wait, you know, I think I want to tweak the audio settings. I'm going to open the options and... wait a minute. Am I being shot while I'm in the menu? What? I'm playing in a single player mode and the option menu doesn't pause the game? <sighs> Calm down. It's okay. Maybe it's just an oversight. Maybe they'll fix this. The fight ends in a cutscene, of course, and after that cutscene we get a loading screen which takes us to another cutscene. Every cutscene is shot in an obnoxious, handheld shaky cam style. This worked in God of War 2018 because it was a single uncut shot, directed by people who knew what they were doing. Here it feels like they gave a handheld camera to a random guy and said shoot the scene. And the camera angles change, so you get multiple perspectives of shaky cam which is incredibly off-putting. Combine that with horrible frame rate drops, terrible voice acting, stuttering, cuts in audio, and out of sync subtitles, and you have yourself a grade A modern gaming disaster. Mr. Chang is he alright? 
<laughs> Fuckers! Like, it's not bad enough having insurgents trying to drag us all to hell. We gotta have these low-life gangsters on our streets picking us off from the inside. Yeah, I know the game. <clears throat> really hasn't changed a whole lot. Hey, you did a good thing. Got a bad guy off the street, and I'm walking home without a scratch. Running around the base, you'll be thinking, this is destiny. And it is. It's destiny. The hub world, the quests, the fast travel points, the shops, the character menu, the gear and weapon stats, the classes. It's destiny as a cover shooter and with no jump button. I'm no fan of destiny, but I'd rather play that any day over this mess. And what's with the motion blur in this place? My god! So we run around talking to characters, watching cutscenes, following the main quest and accepting side quests for loot. You can join a party of random players, play with friends, or go solo. I've done a bit of all three. That's not right. It should be searching for game. Playing with friends is a better time than playing alone, but that is not an argument in the game's favor. Anything is better with friends. Having cancer is better with friends. The game interrupts you with cutscenes every time you enter an area. I've never had to skip more cutscenes in my life. They are everywhere. Sometimes you watch a cutscene just to open a door. Every combat encounter is the same thing. Waves of morons rush into the area, and you kill them with your guns and your powers. Powers regenerate so fast that you're basically spamming them. The field of view maxes out at 90, which is ridiculous for a game where enemies end up surrounding you and shooting you from all sides. The camera is also zoomed in on you and you can't see what's happening around you. If you get close to an object or a wall, your character disappears, which is disorienting as hell. I hate the camera in this game. And then there's the boss battles, which are truly pathetic. This boss, once defeated, sits there perpetually dazed until you kill the rest of the enemies. He just sits there on his knees. He doesn't recover if you take too long to kill the other enemies. He just waits for you, and then you can walk up to him and press E to eliminate him in a lame cutscene. I'm gonna show you the complete fight I had with the last boss of the demo while playing with a random guy on my team. Riveting gameplay, isn't it? This game is so obviously made to be a brain-dead experience for people who don't care. And it's made by people who don't care. You can't care and make something like this. You can't care and be okay with your AI being this stupid. There's no way that anyone in charge of this game is proud of it. It feels like a corporate mandated product designed to be as generic, safe, and lazy as possible. Stay far away from this game.